All right, it's the rundown. It is Monday. It is uh, August 28th. Close enough. 27th. It is brought to you by Yahoo Fantasy Football. Football's back. Did you bet that first game, the Colorado State Hawaii? Yeah, uh, no, I bet uh, New Mexico State versus Wyoming. I had New Mexico State, and they had like minus four yards in the first half. Tough. Um, football's We're back. 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 Yeah. We're back. <laughs> and so is fantasy football. Get your friends together and create a league or join a public league. It's free. Sorry. It's easy. The app is great. No need for the desktop. <laughs> the Yahoo Fantasy app is the only app where you can manage all your season long and daily fantasy in one place, sign up at yahoo.com slash fantasy football. Yahoo.com slash fantasy football. Football's back. Football's back. Uh, big weekend. Big weekend of stuff. A lot of stuff. stuff going on. A lot of we stuff. Had, uh, Internet stuff. Butthole gate. Butthole eyes gate. Chaps, this broke what? Friday night into Saturday Thursday night. morning? Thursday night into, into Friday. Friday yep. So we haven't talked about it yet on the rundown. Um, so we'll just recap it. It's a major story. I actually thought it was weekend. But uh, Chap said uh, Pete Davidson, his eyes look like buttholes. He had butthole eyes. Ariana Grande got back in the mix. For a random celebrity, Ariana Grande has so many weird ties with Barcelona. So that's obviously the, t- the beginning of the Tico Texas squabble as well. Mm-hmm. Um, have you asked Pete Davidson to go on? The podcast so, because she so also Nate tweeted. Oh, Nate! Him. So Nate, yeah, Nate's like best Nate, friends with Pete. Davidson. Nate's like my booker for KSU Radio, and like every uh, every like couple, like I'd say like maybe twice a year, like every six months, Pete like kind of resurfaces and he reaches out to Nate and he's like, "Yeah, let's do the podcast." And Nate's like, "Okay," so, and then he never does it. What, and Ariana's funny, out here saying that Ariana like said that show. three years of begging to so, do your podcast. The last time. Pete and myself spoke. He reached out to me via email saying, hey, sorry, I haven't been in touch. He should almost drop those receipts, man. Like, I mean, he, he, absolutely. You know, like, so he reached out to me, and he's like, hey, I'd love to come in and do the podcast. Um, and then, like, he followed me on Instagram randomly, oh, like, Yahoo Sports, six months later. Football. Football's back. I only play on Yahoo Football's Fantasy back. Football. Um, so, yeah, he reached out to me, and then he followed me on Instagram out of nowhere. Like, I'm not verified. Yeah, I wasn't listen, liking I, his I, photos. I went to a Pete Davidson show. I went, like, He's a fan of mine. met him, took pictures of me and Caitlin. We've talked. He's talked to Nate. Like, he's kind of, like, friends with the program. I, yeah, I, but, it was kind of a weird Wait, reaction. but Pete hasn't done anything wrong. Right, like it's Pete, all yeah, yeah, right. Like yeah. Pete Davidson. Pete is probably sitting at home going. That's why you shouldn't phone. drop the receipt. Oh, okay. You shouldn't he, drop the receipts because Pete Davidson, as far as so I'm concerned, is like Pete. He just got screwed by his girlfriend. Yeah. Pete to stick and Ariana up for his Grande are talking about KFC Radio in her 16 million dollar Manhattan apartment, which is the craziest Wild. thing. Mm-hmm. Wild. Like they're just chit chatting about Kevin's podcast. I, I definitely think Pete Davidson is sitting at home like. Shut well, the why fuck wouldn't Pete up. Davidson then come on? He's a comedian and like. Well, you know, he's he, too he, deep he, in love now. Well, he's 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 very been very open about his like manic depression and all that stuff. So he kind of like goes into hiding and then resurfaces and hiding and resurfaces. So he's got a lot going on. But I I cannot imagine that Pete Davidson is actually offended. No, by that's he is a he's a he's done roasts before. He always jokes about his father in 9/11. He has a very like barstool type of humor. I feel like he wants his girlfriend to be quiet. Yes. Now, 57 million more followers are talking about his butthole eyes. Yes. Ariana Grande is trash. Hey. She's trash. What? Well, she, isn't she Calm the one yourself. who, she's like, she she's good. I get her and Selena the, mixed yeah, up a lot. Yeah, the lick the donut thing. Was she, she hates America. No. And I hate her. No. Yes, she does. That's ridiculous. She does. I will, I will ride for Ariana. Why? She, she just, she's trash. She, she just did a, a thing with James Corden the other day. Like, there was, like, a rumor that she has to be carried everywhere. You remember that rumor? That's probably true, it's too. It's not true. These are fucking... Well, what about... These are know, rubbish I mean, and garbage, and it's not true. <laughs> Wait, time out. She was on camera. Didn't she lick a donut? Being like... Well, that was, you know... She not said, I hate Americans. Finals. I hate America. What the f*** is that? I hate America. I hate America. I mean, seems pretty black and white to me, seems, Tommy. Guess what, Ariana, like, you little bitch? I hate you. Hey. <laughs> and I told that down. Right. I was going to use the C word. Yeah. Did because of credit to you. Credit to you. I. Either way, this is the greatest. Like, this is the perfect barstool controversy because he does have butthole eyes. Yeah, fact. I mean, that is a fact. And by the way, his science, eyes look science like butthole. Science backs us up. Science. Crohn's was, disease doesn't cause butthole eyes. Dehydration does. Haul if you hydrate. The fact that the a uh, real doctor had to be reached for comment was like this does not Crohn's disease does not cause sunken eyes, aka butthole eyes, was unbelievable. Yep. Written in the New York Post, butthole eyes in the title, and uh, it was uh, all just chaps and chaps. Yeah. And and then the kicker, 
that Chaps has, suffers from these terrible symptoms too. Right. So everyone trying to come at him, he's like, no, I've but actually had diarrhea butterflies. for 11 years. But yeah. does not have butterflies. No, no butterflies on Chaps. And he has butterflies. I mean, His eyes look like butterflies. butterflies. They're, like they're butterflies. brown. They're, red, they're dark circles. That when I clicked on it, I was like, holy shit. It is what it is, man. I thought it was Heat. Chaps just Come on the show and talk about it. I don't know about after that little bitch line. I never asked him. Listen, I don't know him nothing. I haven't talked to him once. Um, Brady is in a <laughs> foul mood. This given. guy, he's Brady, soft. soft. He's not soft. You get he's the so po- soft. Oh, he's definitely not soft. He's angry. He's chippy right now, which I don't hate. Soft. But the bigger news is Guerrero is back on the plane, flying. Which, if you are a Patriot fan, I think Guerrero is snake oil salesman. I won't trust him as far as I could bowl him. But that is a very good sign that he's on the plane. That means Belichick and. Brady are starting to get along or have come to some sort of agreement, understanding. Um, Brady is... Or maybe it just means Kraft has given the fucking reins to Brady. And Brady gets whatever he wants. Mm. Whatever good it point. is, they're all That's not along. good. Good counterpoint. No. That would be like, no, Belichick, they're... we don't care what you say anymore. Yeah. I don't think that's... A I think that's probably more Listen, likely than everyone's getting along all of a sudden. Tom Brady, like, that wasn't... I listened to it and I was waiting for he... some inflammatory question. It was a pretty fair question. I'm just trying to figure out, because I saw the reports this weekend that he's traveling with the team. Was he on the sideline on Friday? Yeah. All right, guys. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Okay. I guess that's that's it with, with, with Brady. Yeah. And especially for a guy like Guerrero that everyone's curious about. He's got this cloud of mystery around him. He's back on the plane. Of course he's going to get asked Let that. me just say this. He also walked out when people asked Edelman on a, he's at a yeah. press conference. Yeah. Let me just say. And he hung it up doesn't on help. Pre- let, well, well, justified that one, right? let, Yeah, well, that, that was, was a girl. Let me just say this. Okay. I love Tom Brady. He's got me five Super Bowls. If somebody else, like... LeBron was pulling his. Yo, you would roast no, him. No, I would be like, I don't yeah, know if he's yeah. choosing the right course of action. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't love the asshole. way he's yeah, handling yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asshole. You would have had, you would have had Guerrero like, you know, linked to all kinds of steroid investigations through your own, in, through your own investigation. If this was LeBron's guy, Absolutely. I resent that. Yeah, no. Absolutely. Listen, it actually is really wild that at, like Tom Brady is like squeaky clean, except he backs. Like, the dirtiest but dude he, in the world. Here's the hardcore. This is, the craziest part is, if you keep ending... Well, it's not Brady's fault. He got brainwashed by a snake oil. But if you man. keep ending press great. conferences... They're going to keep asking the questions. They're not only going to keep asking, but it also doesn't really, like, make it seem like this guy is anything but a snake oil yes. salesman. Well, I... Like, if you have no good answer every time Alex Guerrero's name is brought up, that's not good. Right. Alex Guerrero uh, did some things that were flat illegal and a little bit shady, but maybe he's a good guy now, and maybe uh, at whatever he tells Brady does work. I don't know. This is a stupid subject. Uh, it is brought to you by SeatGeek. The code is RUNDOWN, $10 off your first order. SeatGeek, I use SeatGeek to buy uh, this. is interesting. I'm going to the White Sox game Friday night. White Sox, Red Sox. I'm going to be in Chicago. Shout out. I'm going there. I have an event. Uh, at Bounce Bounce. Chicago for New York for Notre Dame, Michigan. So I'll be there. I'm going in Friday night. So uh, I'm going to go to the south side, I guess. So they say. Um, Bill's Mafia fight. It's early. Football's back, Tommy. They don't waste any time. Yahoo Sports uh, Fantasy. Yeah. Football's, Football's back. back. Football's back, Tommy. Um, so these guys, two brothers, they get in a fight. I don't mean to throw any shade at like people who have uh, mental disabilities or anything. The picture of the guy makes it look like he's not all there. Um, but that he could just be like Buffalo, though. Like he could be. Mafia. He could be. He'd be got in a fight with his brother, but after a Bills game, he's drunk. Six-year-old in the car. He jumps out. I Probably, I picture him as like a basically. I'm picturing like a cartoon, like a Wiley Coyote. Jumps out of the car and instantly smashed into another car. It is Bills Mafia. I watched this game. Josh Allen. He's my guy. Tall. But that was a tough. First half, he got sacked about a billion times. I think he got concussed. The offense looked terrible. That's, I mean, that. What else are you going to do? Yeah. You can't blame these brothers. You got to blame the Bills' offensive uh, honestly, game plan and preseason Josh game. Josh Allen three. needs to, like, pay for any court fees. For no, I, think, I don't think it's, no, I think it's no, the no, offensive no, no. line listen, more than Listen, anything. you go out there and you lay an egg like the that. Line. You are the direct cause yeah. for this fight, for this car crash, this DUI. You should stop complaining. I will say one of my favorite shirts we have in the store right now is just the Josh, Josh Allen is tall. tall. Yeah. <laughs> that is such a great shirt. It's the truth. That yeah, is, is an irrefutable fact, Very too. tall. Butthole eyes on Davidson. Yes, Josh Allen is tall. Facts. That is the best Bills Mafia yeah. shirt going. Uh, football's back. Bet DSI. <laughs> 
promo code RUN25. Get a free $25 play plus 200. That's not 100. That's double that. It's 200 bonus on your first deposit. Uh, football's back, and these Bronco boys just sitting down with the girl with the big old titties. Gets up. She's hot. Kind of remind me, and not to bring this full circle, but... Looked a little bit quickly like Miss Colorado, that porn star who dated the Broncos player, mm. um, and then broke that he broke up. And he's like, "Oh, you're doing porn? I don't like that." Um, got yeah. up in front of these two kids, and their lives changed forever. You could forever. see it in real time. That, I mean, that one dude, he knows exactly what he, he like. Bet on that kid because yeah. look, looking down, like looking up and down, he gave her. That was not like innocent. At Everyone's all. had had that moment growing up, whether it be watching a TV show or something. And you're just like, okay. That's what that is. Musburger said it about Jen Serger when he when she was on camera. Yeah. He was like there was like several hundred red blooded Americans who are now going to apply to Florida State. Mm-hmm. That was that moment for those kids. Shout out to them. Uh, big fight in the YouTube world. Jake Paul, uh, Logan Paul fought KSI. Your guys. Another. I so Uh-oh. if I'm understanding, eight hundred and fifty thousand people bought the fight for ten wow. bucks each, and Whoa. Twitter did not regulate it. Reddit, so you could just do it. Like uh, I think Extreme hugs. It said that he was watching on just a random Twitch stream that had 450,000 people watch it. So they're saying it's the most watched internet event ever. Um, Twitch. So wait, I guess nobody was getting swatted. They just let anybody do this thing. Um, So I guess when you're going to get 850 at 10 a pop, you just don't even care that it's getting the stream. I mean, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. I don't know how you stop it. I don't know. I will say, and you guys are going to be like, I'm crazy, and it's almost a segue to less. I'm pretty confident I spawned this idea. Because, like, Jake Paul was in here. Yeah, he was in the thing with his manager. When yeah. I try, I was like, we're doing rough and round. This oh, this exact. I thought you were going to take credit for Jake Paul being, like, a phenomenon. No, no, no. Got but it. The, but the actual I, I fight. Actually, okay, that's Yeah, I, I will give it yeah. to you on that. He, you, you came in here, he talked a lot of business, and now he's doing And I was like, I actually thought we bought a boxing company. What about, and then next thing I knew, they're doing this. And from what I heard, and granted, it was from guys here, so it's obviously not unbiased, but... It was not like nearly the level of. I heard the second. I actually was. thought he. I, I watched that 15 second clip. I actually thought he didn't look terrible. I, I heard, don't know about the undercards. But. I heard Jake Paul fight very boring. Logan Paul fight very good. The Logan Paul fight they already have a rematch for. Um, I didn't see it. And Jake Paul, he, he's not really. Jake Paul's out of Team Portland. I mean, he was a wow. fake Team Portland guy. Wow. Which one's the more popular one? I think well, they're both. I think Logan has more followers. Is he the younger he got, one? Jake's no, he's the younger. younger. That's Logan came around oh, first, guy. so he has more followers. Jake came up, and he's, like, shooting past. I was got trying it. to get all those kids for us, but it's like, if Jake Paul, Jake Paul, I don't even know. It. Jake Paul, I think, just doesn't. If you said, hey, you're seeing Portland, he'd be like, what is that? So I can't. Yeah, no, that. I mean, you made a valiant effort. You can't. Yeah. You had him come in. You dabbed. You're like, this is going to be gold. I'm going gonna gonna to gold. Fr- I'm gonna try, try to friend guy this up. Get, yeah. It just didn't happen. Yeah. Um, I mean, but you did have like a whole video and initiation and stuff, right? Yeah. I mean, let's just going forward, let's tighten up. You can't be doing that if people are. I was. Not be I in. mean, yeah. Okay. This no. is how the mafia Heel? went down. You yeah. start handing out blasts right. to yeah, everyone. I will never do that again. Yeah. Well, I shouldn't say that. If the right guy that. Yeah. Can help us. You said you'd make LeBron team Portnoy. I would. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> <I> Phil. <would. laughs> Phil playing a golf. Would you make Tiger team Portnoy? Anybody who says, I like, like them, team. I like you yeah. back twice as hard if you're famous. Um, <laughs> Phil uh, was golfing Northern Trust, hits a shot, so he's like, better be, it, not as good as Tiger. And well, what did no, he, he say, was, it better be better than, better be better than Tiger. And he's like, it is, oh, and it, it lands is. right there. It's gotta be better than Tiger. Oh, it is. Awesome clip. I got a little upset just in the set, like this was awesome, but, like golf people want their, they want their uh, candy. They, what is it? They cake want cake and eat it too. Like this is good. Chirps good. Like if that's a bad shot and someone chirps them, then, or that's Justin Thomas, that pansy ass bitch, and like someone chirps them, you get kicked out of the tournament. But this is why chirping is good. Mm-hmm. Just let and it that's go. why like a guy like Phil can handle it. Yeah. He's up, I mean, like the younger great. guys seem to have the problem. That was fucking Phil's out there doing his thing. Did you guys see the rumor that this Phil Tiger thing is going to be $25 pay-per-view? No. Yeah. That, I mean, who That's a rumor I going mean, around the media circles it, that uh, guy, You're gonna get J- James Miller, who like basically has all the sources at ESPN and just, yeah, and yeah, yeah, he yeah. gave like Skipper his yep. his little nice yep. uh, comeback tour. Yep. He, he, he threw, said, he threw a, yeah. uh, cotton candy out. Yeah, right. Exactly. Uh, he said twenty four ninety nine. Huh. I feel like the Is golf world will absolutely pay for I don't know. Well, everyone's pay per view. We suddenly we we invented pay per view. Yeah, we did, and now they're just stealing it from us. Yeah, and we're gonna be in Lexington, Bullshit. by the way. 
uh, what is it, October 5th? Yeah. October 5th, Rough and Rowdy, baseball field, Lexington, Kentucky, a first day Keenan. That's going to be great. So we invented pay per view. Um, <laughs> this cat's a dick. And I just thought, I, I watched this clip like maybe 200 times. He's just slapping a seal in the face. And the seal's just like, out. Oh, I've had enough. I, I think he played it. dead. I think the seal played dead. <laughs> was it was a smart <laughs> move. Like a cat that's that angry. Get the fuck out of there. Rolls. Get out of there. Yeah, it yeah, rolls yeah. over. I, I've had fuck too much this of this cat. shit. Very yeah. funny. Yeah. Um, last one, Saratoga. So the weekend wrap up. You were up uh, in, in Merriman country, the mayor. Oh, yeah. Mayor oh, yeah. He had, he had like, you know, girl, there was a couple girls in a Jeep who, yeah, who, oh, they, who, they who stopped at by. Him. They're like, oh, my God, Brad. Yeah, they squealed <laughs> at him. Like. And then we pulled up to dinner on Thursday night, and the valet guy went to high school with Brett. That was an awkward moment. Oh, yeah. Because would you let, yeah, like, like someone serve you? Like, yeah, you yeah. can't have someone who throw you like, in your high school class. Like, like, like Brett's like, just uh, whoa. Yeah. Brett, so, Brett, despite like being the worst at his job, has fallen into this role, and he's got a little like cash, oh, cash yeah, 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 a little swag. Yeah, yeah. And his OMP, buddy here is wearing a black polo and like black. Yeah. Let me take your keys, Mister Mary. Yeah, but Brett, Brett actually played it well. He yeah, rolled he down the window, and he's like, "You know what? I'll find a spot." And so we went and found a spot, which yep. was um, saved everyone's dignity. Mm -hmm. The clip, and obviously I know Elio my, uh, for a long time, not my whole life, but a long time now. Uh, the, he, he, so we were getting, it was getting slightly contentious by. Oh, I would say, I would say. <laughs> it was very awkward. Well, you change your beds? I've never, but only a crazy person would do that. But you, I was crazy. done. Then yeah. you make it sound like you like the three at 14 to one. No, I said I like the second. I like the first place they come in. Does it matter? Last. I mean, I, I people why, don't. Why do you guys like you have to bet the same? Like we we're a team, right? So it's but I like when bet. you guys are so contentious, like maybe you just shouldn't be. No, no, it was works it out. They know they they know what they're doing. It's just they got to get it out sometimes. And the worst was when we were in a th like. I mean, we go in knowing there's yeah. gonna be a lot of contentious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Saratoga. There we were at the end of the track where it's all new and the boxes are a little bit bigger. But then we went to the the finish line where the boxes are small. Is Dave, me, Elio. Not Elio and I can't fit in a box, and then you add Dave in there, and they were just like going at each other. And I was sitting in the middle, and then Paula Duca shows up, oh, Jesus and Christ. we're like, Paul, he's like, like, Dave's 0 for 37, and, and he's like, oh shit, that sucks. Well, how's Renee? Yeah. And we're just like, okay, this is, I actually said, this like, is gasoline terrible. on the fire. It's like, well, Paul, you know me pretty well, and you know we're separated. So it's like, I don't know what you want me to say. Elio was chirping in my ear. So what, oh my it's God. a hell of a moment. It was yeah. a hell wow. of a moment. It was, what a box. It was yeah, a box. It was, that was, that was, it was getting contentious <laughs> at that point. And it was like a race where I bet it, and I came down, and Elio then was like, oh, I like the throw. Elio does this thing where he bets, and he doesn't tell you a key component of the bet. And he won earlier in the, yeah. like yesterday, yeah. well, like he, he starts screaming for the seven horse yeah. coming around. And I was like, what are you talking about? You didn't mention the seven. So he tried to pull that same move and he forced me to change my bets. And then I won once, it, it got ugly. But what it did yield is the video, then he got fired the morning went home. He, he won like three races in a row. 50 grand about in the span of three races, like a 20 to one shot and two huge exactas. And he's just rolling around his house with his shirt off. Yes! <laughs> yes! I'm the king! <laughs> I'm the king! Basically nailing your description. He sits yes. around with his shirt off. Yes, personality is gambling. <laughs> yes. And his just life is gambling. His three little girls like screaming in delight as yeah. he says, I'm the man, I'm the king. I'm the king, <laughs> I'm the king. Such being, a great clip. Being dead serious. Yeah. And that's how I felt. Like he, he hit that 20 to one. He actually had hit two races in a row. He gave me the 20 to one and I, I t called him. I'm like, Are you, you're being greedy. You really want me to bet the 20 to one? He's like, yeah, I like him to win. So. In the end, I lost a little, broke even for the, uh, you know, close enough where I didn't get murdered. Five days in Five breaking days. close to even is Well, yeah, I mean, those three Including races. Including an 0 for 37 yes, stretch? Yes, for 30 I mean, Well, stretch. I won 30 grand in the span of two races. Yeah. So that's well, like 30 it. races right there, basically. Yeah. And so. uh, Team Portnoy did their, the, the gif is out there of Tommy getting... <laughs> uh, Dave was, was riding, sexually assaulted. Dave was riding him. I mean, they should watch the whole watch your, the whole tape. You're holding on to the shoulder, smacking. Well, I should not have bent over good, like that. Yeah, good luck. I, I hold do. on to good luck. Bet you and then do. the horse was coming down. And I was Tommy calling it, so I was trying to get a better Tommy angle. Tommy happened to stand up, 
and his ass went into my genital area. <laughs> it happens. And then, and then he, he kissed him and then he threw, Well, that's and then my he celebratory him. kiss. And then, that's he what threw, I do. and then he threw the money out, and I'm not, I'm, I told you I wasn't going to go at you. said you're ready for attack. I'm not going to attack you. But I oh, the think money clip? The money clip. I was thinking Tommy probably was thinking of that Wolf of Wall Street scene where Leo fucks Margot Robbie on the pile of money. Tommy was just <laughs> I like, mean, that's just tonight's <laughs> plan nice tonight. set. Just in poor, poor, <laughs> poor taste. <laughs> uh, it was a funny clip, though. And it was a great picture of watching you guys yeah, pick it yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did you get a couple? Did you slip? Did you... No, no. It was I mean, his money. It was pretty quick after we threw that. It's like, okay. Yeah, all right, get it, get it, get it, get it. A win, yeah. Holy shit. Like chickens. Um, so Good yeah, weekend, it, though. It, 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 it was. It was Did you guys have any success with the... Bob no. Baffert, by the way. All yeah. his money. Shit down Frankie's throat. All the guests, I thought Bob Baffert was the driest. Like, he wasn't... He wouldn't give us answers. Yeah, right, exactly. And then out of the blue on something that we really didn't ask him, like, hey, you think it's good? It's like, yeah, I got a horse. All right, Frankie, he just basically cut me off. He's like, oh, yeah. that, that's yeah, horrible. No, he took a dump down Frankie's yeah, throat. If he wins a triple crown, we are right gonna... there. The name's going to kill you right there. All right, Frankie. It, it does, all right. It, it sounds like a, a gelding. If you want to, like, justify or, like, Mer you know, for if you want it in the breeding shed, if you have a mare, says, I'm going to go breed the all right. But it's all right, Frankie. Yeah, yeah, all right, Frankie. You know, you already forgot it. He's a Wednesday horse. A Wednesday name is a Wednesday that's horse. That's as mean a thing as you can say. Yeah. What was the second that's like name? Tommy Smoke. Yeah. Did you tell him that? Yeah, he loved it. Yeah, loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved He's like, it. you can actually switch. Can you yes. Say, right? Yeah, you could. Hundred bucks to switch. Frankie, so. <laughs> Frankie, how mad are you gonna be? If Dean's I'm, I'll say it, it can't switch. It's got to stay all right, Frankie. Well, yeah, because, well, yeah, because you Bob know it's Baffert a word. Bob Baffert says no, so yeah. guess what? It Listen, might change. Bob Baffert and his like glasses and stuff, he, he's a great trainer. He doesn't know how to name horses, all right? Leave that to the guy who knows how to name horses. Oh, oh really? I'm pretty sure. Oh, does he? <laughs> Handsome <laughs> Hank and Weird Sunset did really like, well. Right, well right, he just names like losers in this Smoke Show <laughs> City <laughs> went really well. The only horse that he had that did well, he didn't name the real one. He didn't name Roman Reigns. What was it, Roman Reigns? All the horses I've named have been horrific. Horrific. If, so Bob Frankie has a, if Bob Baffert says to do anything with a horse, to yeah. Do it. I mean, Bob Baffert knows his stuff. I, I mean, that no, was, Frankie's done. Yeah, I mean, that, it was quite stunning to yeah. hear him just be like, "Oh, that's the worst." He's and, done. And, and let me say this: if if he switches, when he switches, it's officially over for Frankie, and Tommy Smokes has taken over. Yeah, I mean, that's it. Decision. I mean, that's it's, that's the it's a tough decision to make. It is tough. I was not expecting him to be like, "That's a Wednesday horse name." That is a. I tell you what, thing, if that, that horse, is the meanest it, thing you can say. Short of that horse winning the triple crown, Frankie is gonna have to own just. Like, yeah. Hey, your name stinks. Dude. It stinks. Your name right, just evokes being a loser. That's I a guess Wednesday so, in Bob Baffert's eyes. I don't know. Wow. It was you're a shocking a, you're thing. You're a Monday I mean. afternoon stripper. It was shocking. It's quite, <laughs> it was quite... I mean, that's essentially what he said. Yeah. Right? Yeah, no, he's... He said I was worthless. Horse. Yes, yeah. correct. But Tommy Smokes, I'll tell you what, Tommy, everyone's got their... Like a Christmas every, tree. It's like Tommy you Smokes. Got, like, that's a name. Alternatively, Dave, you got to be worried that Bob Baffert might steal Tommy Smokes from you. Oh, I got it. Won't let it happen. Won't let it happen. A little happen. sparkle in his that? eye. You ever think this little, like, reverse psychology of no, the he, names no, he, and names that I can name my horse? hated it. No, he hated it. He didn't know anything about, like, Barstool, really, and he just said, all right, thank you. And then he And then he said, Tommy, you look like a piece of meat. Tommy Smokes. Um, Just getting waltzed around Saratoga. The post show, <laughs> this clip I've had, I, I had, I forget who sent me this, the clip of me and you guys run down three years ago today, being like, we are, that we're the media company that everyone's watching. Mm -hmm. We're the one. And you guys laughed and you laughed. You laughed too. In every boardroom across America in the media, there's a big fucking bar stool with like a target and people are like, how do we be like them? So is, that, that's <laughs> fucking so good. Insane. So insane. You're so, so incorrect. Insane. You're so insane. Um, You're so insane. It's just the insanity <laughs> is what keeps everyone in. But you're so insane. I'm not insane. Because you I could barely believe yeah, your I own mean, words. Yeah, no, his own yes. Words. When Dave, Dave has yes, that smirk, that, that, there's you, the Portnoy smirk where he yes, knows what's coming it. out of his it's mouth. It's ridiculous. Bullshit, you know? Yeah. I knew it. Like, I the knew credit it. you're taking Leader for this. Men. Bro, I don't even, you still, you think we're there already? <laughs> oh, I think we're, I think everyone's like, these are the fuckers right now. Yeah, I'd they, like to know what was the context around it. Like, genuinely know. curious. Someone what, sent that. How did like, it happen? Uh, two months ago. I told Frank, I said, put this in your tickler file. Well, I want to email on August 27th. Right? Yeah. Dana was on. It was but what like, was, guys was trying, everyone was trying to... Yeah, but what was happening, like, in the world at that time? I don't uh, even remember. Uh, 
Like, why did that come up? That's what I'm curious about. Oh, okay. yeah, and we yeah, probably yeah. laughed in her face. So she wanted to put yes. Morsel on her resume. Yes. And we said, why the fuck would you do that? Yes. And Dave came up saying, we're the best. And then you, world. Dave, said it and then smiled and laughed because he didn't believe himself. No, I believed it. Yeah. I knew right. it. I willed Got it. it. Yeah, there you go. There's just make eye contact with Tommy and just keep nodding at each other. Yeah. If this is inside, so bizarre. Talk about echo this chamber. Is going on if there's right a now. will, there's Tommy's a way. Tommy's now uncomfortable. This is so <laughs> I'm not uncomfortable. He's right. <laughs> if there's a will. Look <laughs> like, like in the face. That dumb smirk. He if knows. There's a will, there's a way. This company oh, is still a goddamn God. joke. Oh, you know it's a rock it. ship. And that someone sent me to the picture. They meant it. Yeah, because fucking Gaz is like tweeting three. Like, like Paul Zelzinski was fucking tweeting a lot when we were doing the money team pictures, the team port, and I like, oh, original crew. Like, oh, Paul, yeah. Oh, Ed, yeah. Uh, that dude, nobody has benefited more than oh, Paul. Oh, yeah. Ed oh, Hardy yeah. wearing motherfuckers. So, like, no, G Gaz was definitely Gaz making, tweeting those gutter. pictures being like, remember your roots, Dave. Yeah. yeah. Remember Don't forget about else? me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Paul. I'm still here. Paul, that was fucking cool. put an ax sticker on his fucking broken down Subaru in Milton. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Paul. <laughs> Those like were Paul some. Has those were some sad tweets by him. Yeah, <laughs> those were very yeah. sad. And then somebody sent me the pinky in the brain picture, where it's like this reminds me. I think it may have been on Red originally, but somebody said it to me that it's like this reminds me of Dave and Gaz, and it's you know pinky in the brain. It's just a rocket ship, and there's crazy looking like fucking. Well, it's Pinky holding on to the rocket ship. Mm -hmm. That's Paul, and he's yeah. fucking that chirping is these guys like he hasn't had his day in the sun. Well, it's a good his thing that you. Life is a day in the sun. Entire life, life in, in the, the sun. sun. Good thing that you don't have. Uh, you have Kevin and I around who aren't just complete yes men's and sycophants. The, the only I don't, ones. Yes I don't even know if I use that the word correctly, ones. but no, it sounded correct. good. Nailed it. I've heard you have, if you have, if you have, they all do this. Yeah, they all just go like, that's so funny, Dave. That's so funny. So funny. And they don't see, and they don't understand it. They really don't get it. Like. They, they sit here like, no, no, no we're, those we're, were wrong. Yeah. Like, all of those were c fully correct. I mean, what? All those pictures I was tweeting. Yeah, like, I know. Hey, it was to the wall. Like, now no, you're coming but, in with right, $100 bills flying but around. But it comes across as, like, you want. Yeah, I was yeah. sitting at home in New York City on my couch. Oh, you were in New York City? Oh, uh, you had just gone back from Churning's fucking estate? Yeah. And you were yeah. in yeah. Martha's yeah. Vineyard all weekend? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, oh, Gaz. Yeah, yeah, you were in New York City. That was your first time in New York City all summer. I'm my way to the Vineyard. Peter couch now. Get out of here. It's not available. Dude, yeah. Peter Churning has a nice house. That's what he says to me. You fucking think, dude? Guys, you spent, like, one day. In New York City oh, this summer. He's got, you should buy one of those. Yeah, it's $200 billion. Yeah, thanks. Uh, and by the way, Hank's like first event was the fucking Breeders' Cup. Remember, he filmed it into the sun the entire time. Yeah, so he had none of the footage. Sure. He was <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, four. He was at like two weeks later. Please. All right. I mean, there was more content coming out of like the Final Four stuff than what you guys were doing out there. What are you talking about? Oh, the God. Weekend content. <laughs> On the weekend? We had a ton of content. <laughs> I mean, it was, you can't compare team Portnoy the is now, now, now this is a wedge in Team Portnoy. Yeah. I like I, this. this is, I mean, Gad, he's not Team Gad Portnoy. Is I'm not oh, you're not right anymore? He, oh, never, wow. never got He's never been in. There, Damn. Like, there was a ton of content. It's just we you're do too it old? In different ways. It's you don't social. mean the age restriction? I recapped the whole fucking thing today. Looks like... Well, it comes that easy. It comes that easy. Oh, God. Oh, man. I was actually thinking about it, though, when I saw those pictures. If we, if you had won that day at the Breeders' Cup, you would have done the same thing. Yeah, probably. Totally. Probably. So yeah. that's why I was like, "Oh, those are the old days." But it's like, no, probably. I did the same thing. Or if Wes Welker that prudent offered us some ecstasy. He's been an I, I, for he, very. He, he, been nice too. I, I gave Hank and fuck no, I gave Tommy and Frankie a thousand dollars two I different days. I didn't knock at a thousand dollars. No, no that, Dan. That, that, no, five years ago because we had the contest. Yeah, Dan had it. Yeah, but it, but it was a lot loses. more money then. <laughs> and I was out of money at the end because I left some in my thing. And if I won one race, I would have given them more. They didn't win a goddamn thing. I didn't even know what you were betting because fucking Francis and and everybody's hot office today. manager, hot office Brett, whatever Chipotle that kid's Hot Sean, who was just yeah, they lingering. took all the yeah. tickets, so we were like split up. So I didn't even know what they were doing. It's like they didn't even ask for the tickets. Like. Right, you weren't supposed to be there. Like, they just assumed I had enough tickets for everybody. You guys weren't even supposed to. Be. I had to get like six different people and cobble together everybody tickets on travel. This is what happens when you surround yourself with the yes men, Dave. Brett is not my guy. I don't even know who the hot kid is. I didn't even know he was going to be there. Francis showed up for a comedy show that I think was a ruse. He said like 40 people total was at the show. Everyone was getting free tickets. 
Come on down. Everyone's I getting actually, smoked right now. This is fucking I awesome. Actually, <laughs> run down. Never <laughs> missed a chance at the run down. I actually had it. I saw Frank's. I didn't know what to say. I'm like, sorry I didn't come to your show. I, it was good. I, I, I went. Go. No, this I is went. a good joke. You let him I, finish. It wasn't even a joke. I didn't know what to say. Sorry I'm going to go. Sorry I didn't go to your show. Uh, I just didn't want to go. Yeah. 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 Just, just it felt good. Up. Yeah. It felt it's good. Great. We kept an empty seat for him all night. Yeah. No, the show was good. No, it was a big crowd. Yeah. Yeah, big crowd. Yeah. 15. So. Was it was it bigger? Did it get bigger after the first one? No, the, the second one was even. It, it, oh. it was like uh, yeah, it was half people great. were falling asleep in their hands and mm. uh, looking at their phones. One woman came up to me after the show and said, "I hated your last joke." <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah, she said that. <laughs> what was the joke? It was about. I feel like you're in your stand-up voice right now too, kind of. No, like, no. That's well, just I depression. Do, you know me. That's just the depression. <laughs> No, I, I told a joke about how I, when I opened at Pat McAfee's show where we were, and then how that joke, and then I did like what, what happened on Facebook afterwards and how I responded to this woman right, right, right. who complained by pretending that I was dead. It was, I don't know, she hated it, so I'm not doing it anymore. What did you say? Francis Ellis, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't follow, I didn't follow any of that. See you next rundown. Now. <laughs> uh, in other news, Marty Mush starred today. Mush, I don't Mush. know what you've been doing. And Ellie Schmidt star, uh, starred today. She's going back to, um, who has a lot of good ideas, by the way. Like, people, oh, what you going to do? She's going to be good. But she's going back to uh, Chicago. She'll be back here full-time October. So, Well, she's full-time, but she'll be moving here. So that's it. It's a rundown. Tommy, and, anything else? Well, that was a great rundown. Really Thank jam-packed. Thank oh! Uh, Pop on. Nope. <laughs> That'll be like the Barstool app. The uh, One Byte app launched today. A couple things missing, which frustrate me. But it's available. It'll be an update in two weeks. That's going to be even better. But it, it, you can start reviewing pizza and all that jazz. We had a wild pizza review today. Wild. Watch that. It's a guy who came out of the clouds in Saratoga. So uh, that is live. All right. Ooh. What? Number 400. What? Pizza review. 400 reviews. Oh, four. it is? 400 reviews. How do you tell me that, Zah? How did I? I have no oh, number Frank. 400? Did you know that, Frank? Frankie. It's not actually number 400. There was a. Uh, yeah, there's like a roast beef one in there. So we have a couple more to go. It was just roast beef was one of them. The other one we did. So you almost made it through this rundown without getting. You were the only Team Portnoy member to go unscathed, and now you're. Okay. Now you're getting. You no, I just that don't yourself. know. That's like a milestone. It seems like. Yeah, I no, we, <laughs> okay, it's not. What do we do the balloons for? Three fifty. <laughs> 